Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at blanks in Excel and how to create true blanks in your cells when you're working with formulas. Um, it's going to be a bit cumbersome and long way around to get to the end result, but I think you'll find it useful. And along the way, you may learn a few other tricks that you'll find useful in other aspects of Excel. So let's take a look at how to do this in Excel. So here we have a list of products that are all RD and a two-digit number. And what I want to do is indicate in column H the word order for all products that have a number here that is greater than 40. So I only want to show a list of those. And I want to delete the ones that don't have it. And I want to be able to delete the rows that have blanks in order to accomplish this. So let's do a couple things. The first thing I'm going to do is enter an if statement. So I'll say equals if. And what I want to say is that the right of this text comma two digits, if it's greater than 40, then I'm going to put order. If not, then I'll put blank. I'll hit enter, and notice it says order. Okay, normally that looks right, because if it's greater than 40, this is 48, it's going to say order. I'll double click on that. Notice everything says order. Well, the reason that is, is this is text. So when it's looking at the right two characters and looking at the number 48, it's really not looking at it as a number, but as text. So basically everything is text there, and so it can't determine if numerically that is greater than 40 or not. So the first trick we're going to learn is how to convert text digits into actual numeric digits. And there's several different ways, but the one I like to use most is just putting a double negative in front of the formula. So I'm going to put double negative here and I'll hit enter. Now when I copy that down, now you can see it's actually converted the text numbers into actual values. So all the ones that had greater than 40, 48, 42, 45, 49, etc., told me to order the balance it showed as blank. Now what I want to do is just delete all of the rows of the products where I have a blank in column H. So normally what I would do is highlight that area, hit Control G to bring up the Go To dialog box, Alt S for Go To Special, and Alt K for blanks and hit Enter. And notice Excel can't find anything. Why? Because there really are no blanks. Even the ones that appear to be blank have formulas in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert these formulas to their values only. And another trick I like to use is I hover over the right edge of the area after I highlight it. I right click, drag it off, and then drag it right back on. And this menu pops up that I'll select copy here as values only. So I'll select that. Now notice. Instead of having the formula, I have either the word order or I have a blank. So I'm going to do the same thing, highlight that range, hit Control G, Alt S, Alt K, I hit Enter, and again, Excel could not find that. The reason is, if you remember my formula, I'll click OK here, and I'll hit Control Z to go back. My formula said, if it doesn't say order, put in double quotes. So what's actually in this cell is the double quotes, or, or an indicator to Excel that there is something in there, which are the double quotes. So actually, it is not truly blank. So one way to accomplish this is I'm going to go ahead and change this formula. Instead of saying put blanks in there or a double quote, I'm going to just enter no, and I'll hit Control Enter, and now I've done that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert these to their values only. Again, drag it off by right-clicking and holding, put it right back on, and copy here as values only. Now, while I have this highlighted, I'm going to hit Control F and have my Find dialog box pop up. 
and I'm going to find the word no. And I'll click on find all. Excel will give me a list down below here of all the cells that have the word no in them. I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to select the bottom one and it's going to highlight them all. Once I have all the no's highlighted, I'll close that and now the cells that have no in them are highlighted. From here, I'll just hit my delete key and now those cells don't have the double quote indicators in them. Now they are truly blank. So if I highlight this range, hit Control G, Alt S, Alt K, and hit Enter, now it's selected these cells as blank. Now the next thing I like to do is I hit Control and minus sign, and the Delete dialog box pops up. I can select entire row, hit OK, and now Excel has deleted all the rows that had blanks, and now I've accomplished what I wanted to, which is to show only a list of products to order that have part numbers greater than 40. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.